hype. So now to bring out our layers, we are just going to come to the windows, come to doctors, dockers, then you go straight to objects. Now when I click on this, this is our layers. Now our layers is out. So now this layers is, we have the number of pages there and we also have the master page. We can also add layers here and also add master page so now let me quickly explain this here so if we want to add a page or oh, sorry a layer what do we need to do we just come right here see this new layer we just click on it and a new layer is being added so we can also rename our layer now let's say i want to rename this one i just double click and i can rename it maybe i could just name it as um shape good then when i do this i'm done with this so how about we want to add a master layer this is it right here you just click on this and this is it we can also do the same thing by renaming this okay now when we're done just click outside here and this is it so now the difference between the master page and that of the page one we also have the page two we can get the page three now how can we get those pages is by just coming right here when I click on this, you see this page two. Now this is the page two. If I should click on it again, page three, and this is the page three. Now if I don't need this, I could just right click here and delete it. Now how about the page two? I can also do the same thing here. Right click here, you see delete, and then you delete. Now one good thing about this master page is it's a kind of like the main home or the main page for all of our pages. Now we call it the master page because if I should have like three more pages and I just create something here. Now let me quickly get something done here. Okay. Let me just get this done right here. All right. So let me also add some text. Okay, um, just want to get this done. I just want to write anything here. All right. Now, let's say we're having this in our corridor. Let's say this is a design now we did, and we want this same design to be exactly on other pages. Maybe we just want to edit just the colors of our shapes. So what do we need to do? We can just create it in the master page. Now, how do we create it master page? You just come to your master page. You click on this new master layer. You click on it. Now this is it here. We created this. So remember we also created this the other time and now we've created this. So I'm just going to use one of these. So I'm going to, let me use the image now so what how do i need to make this the master page i just highlight all of this here all of this is what i'm highlighting Control a is to highlight then i group it Control g Control a and Control g okay let me put it let me put it in the first page let me cut it come here let me put it here all right so now Control a Control g was what i did i grouped it Control a Control g all right so now I want this now to be in my master page. So meaning that it should also be the same thing, my page two, page three, and the rest of that. So I've created a layer in my master page. Then I just drag this right straight inside the layer. Now, if it's this, I just click on it. Now it is now inside a layer. So if I should go to page two and also page three, I'll still find the same thing there. Then this is how it works the master page so even if i should create more page for instance i'm just going to click on this 
I created more page. Now, if I should create, the, it's still there because it is my master page. So I'm just going to delete all of this ones. Delete, delete. Now, so this is how we can actually work with our layers, and it in fact really good and easy to work with. Okay, so we added all of this to our master page. Now, how about we want to move some text from our page one to the page two, and it's not going to be on the master page. So I'm just going to go to page one now and create a layer. So I just click, click on this. Now this is it here. So now I'm just going to add the text. Let me add the text. Oh, sorry. All right. So now let's say this is our text. We have this in our first page, but we don't have it in the second page. And also, if we, even if we should create another page, we still don't have it here. We only have this right here. And when we click on it, this is it here. So now let me click outside and if I click on this, this is what I actually typed and it's only on my page one. So if I also want it on my page two, I just right click here, then I copy it, come straight to my page two, right click and paste. Now this is it right here. So I have it on my first page and I also have it right here. All right. So this is it. Maybe you can decide to maybe, okay, let me just remove the first one, S. Now, if I should come here now, click on this, this is it. Um, if I click on this, this is it. So now this is one way we can work with our layers. So now how about we're having maybe a text here. Let me change the color, let me use blue. Now I'm having this text here. Now, instead of this text to be on the ship, I want the ship to be on the text. How do I do that? Now, this is actually in my master page. How do I do that? I just take this right here. Okay, since this is now master page, okay, let me get something else. Let me get another shape, rather. Let me give it a blue. Oh no, let me give it a red. All right. So now we have this both on our page one only. So I'm having this and I'm also having this. So now I want this circle to be underneath this text. What do I need to do? You should just bring this circle down here and the text is here. So now the shortcut to actually make this work is just click on it. Let me ungroup it. You click on it first, then hold your control FN and page down. Now, if that doesn't work, you can just simply click on control page down. Okay, now control page up. This is it. So if control F and page down doesn't work, you can click on control page down or page up. That is one way you can work with that. So now, oh, what if we have a situation whereby we are done with our design and we don't want a particular writing or an image to print together with our uh, with our our design or maybe we don't want to export a particular text and we still on we do not want to delete it what do we need to do now if i should click on this let me click on this one okay now look at this this is layer two now if i should click on this you see this disable print and export if i should click on it now Everything under layer 2 cannot be exported or printed. Now, also with the guides, this is the guide. Now, these guides, if I should click on this, which is this here, this, these are the guides. So now, with this guide, when we are printing or exporting, this guide is not going to actually print or export together because this is disabled. Now, if we enable this, when we are exporting, this guide is going to also export. So that is why it is always disabled. So now the layer two, 
the same thing if i do not want to print or export a particular layer just come here and disable it good so that is how that work so now how about this eye right here this looking like an eye icon that is if we want to close or hide a particular text or shape or whatsoever in our design so how, let's say this ellipse now which is this we want to hide it just click on this eye and it is closed it's not there it's not like it has been deleted it is there but you can't actually see it so if i should just show and this is it right here so this is how it actually works with the layers you can add new layers you can also get a master page um, you can also add new pages to your page one page two or even your page three now let me quickly show you one last thing before we are done for today so let's say we're on our page two now for instance and i just create a new page this is it now layer three now after i create this if i want to link a particular shape or a text to this layer three i could just come come and type whatsoever so what let's say i want to type um this let me type okay now this box is showing because of the fonts let me change the fonts to something else okay so now let's say we're having this now i want to link it to the layer 3 all i have to do is just drag it right straight there this is it okay 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 it has already been linked this is it right here artistic test b bat towel so that is it that is how we can actually link our uh, uh, text or a shape or whatever to a layer you see that we create the layer first and then click on the layer then type whatsoever we want to type or we type it first then after creating the layer we drag it right straight to that layer so that is how we can actually work with our layers in Corel Draw. So this is where we are going to stop for today. So see you all in our next class and stay safe.